whenever I get asked about my mental health journey, um, I always like to think about the time that I got my bachelor's degree. That last year of college, it was I was under so much stress. I had to figure out how to finish, you know, my college degree. But then I also had to think about what was next after that. You know, as a first generation Latino and a first generation college student, a lot of these things were unknown to me. So the pressure was real. Not letting my parents down was real. Having two jobs, being involved, just doing a lot of things and still trying to perform and be a good example for the family. I got my bachelor's degree, but then I also was diagnosed with alopecia. It's when your immune system is like super stressed and super like all over the place and it starts attacking your hair. So when I got my bachelor's, a couple weeks later, my hair started falling out. Big bald patches. I went to the dermatologist, the doctor and the dermatologist, and they told me, you know what, you got alopecia areata. And I was like, well, how does this happen? And they're like, it happens when you're in so much stress, when you're not really taking care of yourself, when you don't have that balance in your life. And I'm like, whoa, I am. So that ever since that day, I started really to focus on me, not really letting other things affect me and just kind of taking day by day in like work, school and all that stuff. It's okay if it, you know, if it will be there the next day. Leave it behind, let it put it to the side, focus on you. Always remember that you are important. We're not machines here, we are people. And we also have feelings, right? So always, always focus on you, focus on your mental health, focus on your self-care, everything else can wait.